I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. We've just lost contact with Norad, sir. What? What? Norad. It's gone, sir. My God. The Vice President. Joint Chiefs. That was an excerpt from the, uh... The hit mid-90s film, Independence Day. Which shares a lot in similarities with Pacific Rim. Yeah, Rim Dependence Day. I was just thinking about it when you- you left the room for a little bit, because mm -hmm. I think you had to, uh, twiddle make, your dick or something. Make tea, but, yeah. alright. Make pee, more like. Oh, good one. Yeah. <laughs> fucking owned you, dude. I'll be here all day. <laughs> you got fucking owned by me. How's God. it feel? Uh -oh. I don't know. <laughs> How's it feel to be- at whoa, Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. Damn. Gonna heal real quick. Why- how'd you get this guy alone? Uh, I killed the other guy. How can I get you alone? Oh, come on, dude. Woo! Um, I was just thinking about it when you were gone. Okay. The, the, the similarities. Because I was thinking, like, why doesn't... So... Uh... Fucking Jesus! This stupid ground shit is bullshit! I keep trying to fucking drink, do- Drink, drink. I know, I know. Okay. I keep trying to do these smooth moves with this guy, and I just can't pull him off, because it's fucking... And- and I- do it, so- here's the thing, right? Like, you left, it was quiet, I just ripped into that other guy. And I made sure, because I knew I was gonna talk about it, I made sure to put a note, like, fucking, like, put it in, I don't care if it's like fast forward, it's like a cold open or whatever. Right. I tore into the other guy. Right. Like, complete domination. And- and then the moment the show starts, I'm just like, I can't! I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard! Have a little sippy sip. Of your goodness. Oh, I got him. Uh, yay! Um, so I was wondering, okay. Oh my god. There's- there's two very similar scenes in Pacific Rim and Independence Day. Find a save point. In Indip- No, I gotta kill this other guy. Oh god, Aaron, you're not They're- gonna they're gonna come back alive. Oh, they will? Yeah. Um, Damn. if- if I save. Uh, so that- That's Oh, cruel. he's doing it. It's this fucking guy. Oh. Uh. Dick move, that guy. Uh, don't oh, don't yeah, do he it. is don't doing do it. it. Ah, you jerk. So there's a scene in Independence Day where it's a f famous scene. Everybody knows it. It's a scene where fucking Bill Pullman gives the speech and then he- and then he ends it with, Today we will celebrate our Independence Day. Yeah, and the guy salutes like a little too hard. And it's- yeah, and it's yeah. a fucking great scene, and it's moving, and it's emotional, and everybody knows it. Right. And when you start the- if you fucking do that scene, like, you're up on stage or something, and you start doing that scene, people are like, Oh shit! Oh shit, it's the Independence Day speech! People know it. Because it's fucking- it's, it's meaningful. But the Idris Ilba scene where he's like, we're canceling the apocalypse, like, no one remembers that. It's- it's just- Was that it's, from the new one? It's from Pacific Rim. Oh. It's before they go out for the final mission. Oh, actually, no, it's not. It's the one where they go out- Where- where Yay! all the nations go out. Dude, I, I am proud of you for killing those guys. Oh, thanks. Um, I think- yeah, I think it's the one where they go out and the-, the all the countries go out and then they get fucked up. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it just- it doesn't have the same impact because it doesn't have the same, like, implications, like... Because the whole thing with- Are you still shitting on a Pacific Rim? Well, I'm not shitting on it, I'm just- I'm just getting into it. <laughs> um... I- I've got six more episodes of hating this Did movie. this really not do anything? I thought this was like, open up a path or something. Yeah. Anyway, so, the reason is like, Bill Pullman's like, been through a lot. Like, he fucking- he's- he's the president and like, he's just been shit on this whole movie. His fucking wife dies. Touch a bloodstain. It'll just show him dying. Oh. Oh, right, sorry. I thought it was a message. Um, and then this one says, don't do it. Don't you dare. Don't I dare what? Um, but then, but then it gets to that movie and it's like, he's the fucking president. He's gotta pull it together mm -hmm. for, for the whole nation. And he's, he's, he's gambling on this, like, shitty plan that sounds like it's not gonna work from this guy who works at a fucking television station. Mm -hmm. And, and here he is, like... Brett Spiner has been killed. They killed Data. Yeah. I mean... The fucking vice president and joint chiefs have been killed. Yeah. Like, it, it, it just sucks for this guy, yeah. but he's, he's, he's like, no, you know what, we've assembled this fucking ragtag group of, of pilots, and they're just, they're doing it for the country, like, yeah. this is our last stand. They like, may have fucking... superior weaponry, and tactics, and technology, but we've got fucking Randy Quaid. Exactly. So that's the, the powerful, but that, the scene with Idris Elba is like, okay, well he's dying, I guess? I don't really know what's going on with this guy. It was just- it was just a mystery, like, you didn't see any of that happen, you saw it in a flashback. 
what's up with Randy Quaid these days? It's it's just like it's like it's like a scene that like had to happen because it was leading up to this whole scene. It's like the Independence Day, they had to like learn about the aliens and then like and then they found out they're hostile and they're like, well, you know, we got to make a decision. But Pacific Rim like started out with like we're fighting them. And this is the ultimate battle. Like it's just not as interesting. Truth. Um although the history thing was cool, I, I got to say. I just think the story should have been a little different. Um, that's just my opinion, though. I still enjoyed it. Uh, I don't, I don't the case against Randy Quaid, uh, was dismissed for lack of evidence. Lack oh. of evidence that he's a crazy person? Nope, Because I'm pretty sure there's plenty of evidence of that. Never mind. That was only one of, like, 50 different legal things. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill these fuckers in this church that I passed by. You remember that? Quaid stated he wants to live like a norm normal Vermonter. Do some leaf peeping. What the hell is leaf peeping? Oh god, is this gonna be like a thing like spider sniffing where it's like, whoa. Leaf peeping is an informal term in the United States for the activity in which people travel to view and photograph the fall foliage in areas where foliage changes colors in autumn. Dude, you gotta go to Arashiyama in Kyoto, dude. That's ex- dude, that's exactly what it says. A similar custom in Japan is called Momijigari. It, whoa. This guy's died. I prefer leaf peeping. <laughs> Ar Arashiyama. It's yeah. it's called. It means uh, Typhoon Mountain, because when um, when fall comes, uh, the leaves uh, the leaves change color in a rushing pattern, Whoa. as if a typhoon is taking over the mountain. When fall comes, you better fucking bring it. <laughs> when fall comes, believe me, it comes. <laughs> it hard. comes hard. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh uh, god, this thing is uh, awkward to fight. I just fought like three of those fucking giant soldier guys. Yeah, oh, oh, that's whoa, not whoa, good. whoa, that's, that, whoa, 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 there's blood. Oh, loss. Oh, 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 no, 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 the door, the door, no. the door. Why wasn't it working? Oh, okay, you're good. Oh, oh no, no, they're both, no. Oh, they're both here. Oh, they're both okay. here. They're both here. Oh, he's coming outside. <laughs> he's coming outside. <laughs> wow, you just fucking barely got that shit. Go. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yes, I gotcha. Yes. I gotcha. He's yes. Dead. He's dead. Watch out. That fucking other dude could be there. Anymore. No, no. He's just hanging out in the church. Are you sure? Yeah, he's cool. He's enormous. He's not cool. No, he's cool. Don't worry about him. He's Is cool. he the one who threw all those blades at you yeah, when you got yeah, blood Yeah, he, he's got a blade thing. Mm. He's definitely got a blade Hello. thing. Hello. Oh, it's, oh, it's in the same dude, just in a cloak. Yeah, yeah, cloak. but he's has, he has swords instead of... Uh, yeah, he's got a cloak and dagger claws. kind of situation. Uh, Independence Day, by the way, pretty cheesy fucking movie, I'm gonna say. Oh, okay. but it was, it was 1996, a, man. A, a fucking classic. Like, there's ooh, ooh, all right. That one went through you. Like no, no denying. I'm stabbing through you. <laughs> whoa! Oh god. Oh god, no! Please don't die. Not at this guy. No, no, no. Whoa. <laughs> No time. Um, oh, fuck. Um, I'm just gonna, gonna leave the leave the place for a little bit. You know, maybe get my uh, yeah, get my shit in order. Is he stabbing through the wall? Yeah. Well, oh. he doesn't understand. <laughs> yeah. oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, he came outside. Welcome. He came outside. Okay. This, uh, this is probably like someone doesn't hate the snow quite as much as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Grumpy Mr. Pants. Mr. Cloaky Cloak. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Secretly seeing your family during oh, Christmas. Oh, He's dead. Oh, thank God, man. God, these villains are vicious. Vicious villains. Vicious Delicious. Um... That is definitely the name of a character I'm creating. Whoa, what was that? Wave the Corona? Mmm, delicious. <laughs> I want to get crunk dizzy on Corona. How do I get the... up there? Oh, there's a dead dude up there with a thing. Is that all I... Is that all that was in here? Look up on the rafters. Yeah, yeah, I... I yeah, I can get up there. Um... I- Pacific Rim is in the same category as Tron Legacy is for me. Fair enough. Really enjoyed it. Could have been a classic. Was not a classic. Um... What would you say is the last movie that you saw that nailed it total classic? Like, modern times. I would say Shin Godzilla. Wow, really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <clears throat> um... I mean... It's- it's main criticism, especially from- it's, it's- wait, could you turn to that dead guy for a second? Just- Yeah, just like, dude. 
Have some fucking respect for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Just get a shower. Fucking call a friend. Yeah, you're I'm sure you got somebody who can keep a secret. You're embarrassing. Um uh main criticism of Shin Godzilla specifically it had to end. <laughs> <laughs> specifically from Westerners. A uh, lot of human parts. Mm. Kind of boring at those human Flying parts. Flying everywhere as Godzilla massacres his way through the city. <laughs> but there's a lot of politics. Oh, yeah. Because the sure. movie is about uh, the state of, like, Japanese politics. Sure. Um, it's not about a fucking giant lizard wrecking the city. Mm. The giant lizard wrecking the city is the thing that the politics have to respond to. Fair enough. I'm um, cool with that. So super interesting to see, like, you know, it's about this guy, like, fighting to have a- ooh, okay. Does that kill you? No. Okay. Um... This makes it chilly. Because he's obviously the smart one, he sees what's going on, he understands what needs to be done, and nobody's listening to him. Um... I know the feeling. Yeah, exactly. So it's like when, you know, you're watching somebody play Dark Souls, and... You just, like, drink your flask, and they're like, oh, I got this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but For yeah, instance. <laughs> I, I thought that was fantastic. I thought Shin Godzilla was fucking awesome. I cannot wait. Um, it's the, it's the first movie in a long time where I like... I got a little audible. <laughs> You're like, yay! You, you know, no, I was oh, like... Good. Mostly I was like, whoa! <laughs> mm. So... Awesome. Yeah. I'll um, see it. But American film? Uh... I feel like I haven't been in the... Movies a lot recently. Well, why don't you think about it, and then next time on Game Rooms, you'll tell people first thing. All right, fine. That's what we in the business call a cliffhanger. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. My answer to that question do, 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 is cliffhanger, do, 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 starring Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Ex Machina was really good. I don't know if I'd call it a classic though. It's just a good film. <laughs>